time into today's video. We're late this morning, so that's why my hair's not done. You're probably thinking it looks the same. That's okay. <laughs> it pretty much does. So, lots to talk to you guys about, like a lot in the fluffy butt hut house. In the fluffy butt hut. Anyways, it's raining out, and we have problems with the chickens. Let's see, do you have both babies? This one oh, steals. Whoa. Yep, you did. Oh no, she didn't. Yep, this one went flying out from her. She steals the babies. This is Violet. This is she's, Violet. She's not an Easter egg. So, this one steals the babies, and this one wants the babies. Yesterday she cried and cried and cried because her baby was stolen. So, what we're gonna do is, we have like a thing that can divide this brooder. And what we're going to do is we're going to put one mom on one side with her baby and we're with both the babies. And then we're going to try and give the Silky the new babies. Look at her. She's like, where's my baby? Here, she I'll just cries and cries for I it. I put it under her. Anyway, I did get some flack in today's video from taking the eggs inside and incubating them. I think I explained it okay in the comments. <laughs> Look at the rooster. Right, Ruby. <laughs> Ruby out. What are you doing? Ruby. He's funny. They go can hear the, the rain and they're like, I'm not going out there. It's raining. That's, the they always go out right away. Anyway, I'm just going to be really brief and explain it. When you take babies away from the moms and take them until all the eggs hatch, um, obviously that has worked for some people, but oftentimes what will happen, and we've experienced it many times, is that the moms will refuse the new the chickens when they bring them back. And we have our own way of doing it. We've been having chickens for 20 years. Might not be your way, and that's okay. 20 years? It's, yeah, since we've had chickens since Nick was four. Oh. So I also wanted to address that it's okay to do things your own way from your own experiences. And I love the advice and the suggestions we get on our channel. I read them all, and I, I take all the ones that I think will fit our life and our lifestyle, and I implement them. The ones that I don't think will fit, I leave behind, and that's what everyone should do. That's what I wanted to really make a big point. You're not ever meant to live someone else's life. You're not ever meant to to defer to other people's opinions. You're always meant to listen to other people's stories and suggestions and take the parts that fit your life and leave the rest, and that's what we do. And I wish that for everyone. I wish that everyone understood that you should live your own authentic life and live your own journey and you should share your journey with others and learn from others, just like people learn from us sometimes. But what I worry about the most in everything that happens on our channel is I worry about the people who think there's only one way to do something. There are as many ways to do something as there are people and it really worries me when I see people complaining that we're not doing things their way or what they say and that if we don't, it's wrong. I can't imagine a life where people, I can't imagine ever feeling that, feeling like if someone doesn't do what I say, that it means they're wrong or their, their way is wrong. We have literally learned so much from the people that have shared their stories with us and shared their suggestions with us. And we have implemented so many things, but nobody's way is wrong just because we don't take it. So like with the chickens, don't squeal at her. <laughs> They're like, it's late. So like with the chickens, someone suggested that we take the baby chicks and bring them back after all the eggs are hatched. That's amazing. That's such a good advice. It doesn't work for us because once we take chicks away, it can be really difficult to put them back because the moms- People storms, I'll do Gracie. All right. Yeah. How come I feel like I'm getting screwed in that deal? Well, you're worse. I know, but I'm doing storm. <laughs> yeah, so. Anyways, another example is that a lot of people suggested that we do feed the horses, go down and do the goats, and come back and do the horses, and we did that, because that sounded like a great idea. I love reading other people's suggestions. We tried it. It didn't work for us because <laughs> Storm was like, what the heck is happening? Get me out of here now and tried to break out. So it just isn't gonna work for us to do it that way. It was still an amazing situ it was still an amazing suggestion. I recognize that people were trying to help us and give us ideas to try, but don't think that they were saying, hey, if you don't do it this way, then your way is wrong. I think most people, for the most part, understand that not everything works for every situation. And that's what I'm trying to say in my long-winded way. Anyway, I gotta put horse blankets on, so pray for me. i
Yeah, it takes me a long time to do that stuff. <laughs> it's just how I roll. It needs a scratch. All right, are we ready to roll? You let Penny out and I'll stand here with Storm. <sighs> You're going too, mister. When I watch the videos back, when I'm editing, my favorite part about every video is Ellie running around and following me. I don't even see her when I'm working. I'm never paying attention to her. Penny is so grouchy lately, so I stopped giving her magnesium. We give them magnesium every year in the summer. Yeah. You wait, Penny. Yeah. You have to wait. Anyways, in the last month, she suddenly started to get grouchy. And if a horse gets too much magnesium and they don't need it, no, you're going the wrong way. What the heck? You're going this way. <laughs> Thank you. They're all mad. Ah, you guys are so frustrating, he says. <laughs> yeah. And he's gone, he ran. So we're gonna go down and do goats. We're a little bit later than normal today. I was doing comments, it took me a while. Hence why I'm gonna try and explain so many things to you guys. Even though I'm gonna try and explain them, there are still people, be people, here comes Ellie that don't understand me. I saw someone comment today saying that we said we bought Gabby a new horse on Instagram. I looked <laughs> just to make sure. And there was nothing like that on there. Anyway, about Penny. I stopped giving them magnesium just to see cause she's kind of grouchy, like dominant. She's dominant, more dominant than she has been. So I'm just gonna take her off the magnesium and see if that helped. Uh, I missed it, but Honey was trying to get the bottle. She's like, I'm a baby. I'm gonna do a video about her today. Like, a, a short video. No bottles for babies. No. Oh, and here's her mom. <laughs> She's like, get away from that bottle. All right, let's head up. <laughs> Honey came with us down here yesterday when the weather was gorgeous, so now she wants to come. I think I just saw snow. Wow, it's noisy. We are in trouble. Leo's like, where are you? I actually got them some new food yesterday, so I need to bring that down. The other thing that I wanted to say, and I'll try and be fast, is that I had a lot of interesting comments about Gabby trying horses, both the horse that was the chestnut mare and the, whoops, and Harvey, which I didn't say we were trying Harvey. I just said there's gonna be a vlog about Harvey coming soon. And I know that when I don't provide enough information, people will run with it. Like I said, I saw somebody say that they were going to, that I said we bought them. And that's definitely not true. But anyways, I wanted to just say this. I am not the kind of person that is ever going to bash somebody else's horse on our channel. I'm never going to point out the negatives of somebody else's horse. It doesn't mean we don't see it. It doesn't mean that we don't get our vets involved. It doesn't mean that we don't send videos to our farrier if we're interested in a horse. We've done all of those things. I've seen people say, you have to do a vet check. We do a vet check on every horse we've ever bought, except for the ponies. Any riding horse. So I wanted you guys to know that, but this is what was the most important thing I wanted to say. I wanted to say that I will never ever say something negative online about another horse that I don't own. And I understand that a lot of you guys don't know the owners. You don't feel a personal connection to people the way that I do. 
knowing them. So basically, <laughs> I'm not good at saying stuff. Yesterday I saw a young girl who I love on her channel, she's followed us for a really long time, point out a lot of negative things and, and talk in a really negative way about Harvey. And it bothered me for a few minutes because I would never do that. And it took me a few minutes to realize that it was coming from a place of kindness and love and support for us and that it would be impossible for her to understand that I'm trying to protect the people that I show their horses from people saying mean things because I would never say mean things about somebody else's horse. Two sides of the same coin and I get why she was saying the things that she was saying and I'm not upset by it. Like, well, I'm upset. I'm upset that we haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> They're like drama. What's the drama? Watch out. Uh-oh. Ellie. Watch out. So the reason I brought it up is because I want you guys to know that just because I don't say stuff that are negative or I don't show things that are negative and because I don't disclose every single thing about the situation, it doesn't mean that I don't know about it or I'm not concerned about it or that I won't bring my vet into it or my farrier into it. We've done all of that before and and we will continue to do that. But I do thank you guys for having our back. And even though it brings a lot of negativity to our channel, I understand truly that you guys are saying that stuff from the bottom of your heart to help us out and because you want the best for us and you want the best for our girls. And I actually appreciate that so much. It took me a long time to learn that. In the past when we've had horses, and things like that have happened, I've gotten so upset and not been able to process it the way that I should have. And now somehow God has shown me the way and I understand so much better. So I do appreciate it. And I'm just gonna try and deal with the negativity and redirect it into a more positive way so that the people that we are trying their horses don't feel like people are being mean about their horse or hate their horse because every horse deserves a loving home, a loving family and the care that they deserve. So I don't wanna like bash horses online and prevent them from getting what they need and, and what they deserve. What do you mean? The goats. <gasps> oh, well, I'll fix it. I will fix it, but those goats are naughty little goats. All right, how's our baby? Poofing up. Poofing up, is she warm? Yeah. All right, out you go. She's like, hmm. <laughs> No. She's actually so tiny. Puffy. No. Did she Puffy. drink all of her bottle? No, I think we're too much, but she's gonna probably drink it. Yeah, so bit. she drinks it often. Oh, stop going on there. She drinks it often in stages, so she'll go outside and have a little bit of grain. Well, it was like up to here. Normally it's up to here. Yeah, come on, little baby. Oh. Come on. Come on, Lo. She's like, where's all my food? Oh. What was that? Rocky pushed on the door. Okay. Oh, okay. Rocky. You're locking the dogs in there. Everybody is a mess down here. If it wasn't for chaos, I don't know what I'd do with all the time I have His left. His attack is cool. Yeah, he, you should see him attack the animals. He attacks yeah. that baby goat because she's probably a stranger to him. He attacks her and all he does, <gasps> Ooh, Molly. all he does is put his neck over top of her back and clap his, wee, clap his lips together. It's so funny, like there's no danger in it. All right, um, you're gonna have to let these dogs out so the duck and the goose will go out. I put grain, girl grain, right there for him, for her, so that she can have some girl grain. I was saying in, the, in another video and got distracted that girls and boys can't have the same grain because, well, you know, girls are just better than boys. <laughs> just joking. All right, everybody's coming out now. Oh no, everybody's going in, help. Okay, so the last thing I wanna say before we start today's video is that I know so many of you guys have so much passion about us trying horses because you care and that is like the biggest blessing to our lives. Like I appreciate you guys so much and I just wanna say thank you. So now on with today's video. Oh, so someone said that when I bought this grain, this horse alfalfa hay pellets, someone said that there was a goat in the picture on the front. And you guys are right, I missed it. Horses and sheep and donkeys and goats and cows. I'll have this. But anyway, I wanted to also tell you, remember I was complaining about the other alfalfa pellets that I bought were mostly smushed. 
so it was powder and so it was a bigger bag for less money but this stuff that I bought actually is the pellets that I wanted it's it's not it's there's not one single bit of powder we should do their feet today. We should do their feet today. So how long has it been since we did their feet? A month. No, <laughs> it's been like a week, maybe two weeks. No, a lot longer than that. Just like you thought it's only been like a week since. Well, I wrote it down, so let's go check. All right, who, who is right? Feet, November the 3rd. So it's been a week and a half. No. Yeah. No, we did it's it in It's been two October. weeks. It's been two weeks. We did it in October. No, we, we did it in September and November. The end of September, the beginning of October almost. It was October. No. So, I was right. You were wrong. Yeah. There are so many funny, amazing moments that happen in our barn. <laughs> and I miss them on camera. But I just stand there and watch because it's so, it's just so heartwarming. I took, so, I took off my horse, I took off two horses blankets. Oh, Ellie's going to help her. Ellie's coming. She'll help you. Ellie! Don't go chasing horses. Ellie! Come on! <laughs> anyway, I took off Gracie and Storm's blanket on the other field. And just as I finished taking off Gracie's blanket, Storm just went right past me and he booked it and he just came running. And Sophie was over here trying to take off these two horses' blankets. So I was like, oh gosh, she's going to freak out. So I turned around, I watched Storm run, turned around and there's Sophie and she's standing out of the way. <laughs> and Storm and Gracie just came galloping across. But do you guys see how, what I mean about they're putting their head on over that fence there? That's where they eat the grass. Nothing makes me happier though than to watch the horses and watch them run and like play and be happy. Especially Storm, he's the funniest and honey. <laughs> um, update, another baby has been hatched. Just she like, was very sassy. If I pick her up. She's still soaked. She's still like recovering from hatching. So she needs to go back in the incubator. If I pick her up, she screams till I stop. And let's go show them the other baby that we hatched this morning that is so, so cute. I thought we showed them. No, not since she's dried. It is so dark and dreary outside, you guys. It's awful. We've hardly been outside today, but I wanted to tell you guys I just finished editing the video with Harvey. I watched it two times when I was editing. I love it. I love him. And I know no, no horse is perfect, but I love him. I know no horse is perfect, but his personality is perfection. Um, anyway, this is, this is Pablo. This is the first one that ha hatched a day earlier than this one. Show her, them the size difference. Oh, you can't really see. But she's so little. He's like she's he's obviously pecking me because he's a boy. <laughs> yeah. They're so cute. She's like, it. Sam, let's do a daily update. Let's do a daily update. How are you daily feeling? Update. Yeah, daily update. How are you feeling? Looking uh, good. Not too bad. Show them you walking now. Yeah, I can walk with a cane. Yeah, I can walk with other cane, but <laughs> you have to use a cane. Yeah, just so for stability. Still, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, that's so I, good. I just can't bend my knee 90 degree yet. And so that's the only thing he has to do. I have to work on that before I go Tuesday. Yeah, so he has to be getting it. And he yeah, does right. bend it 90 degrees when he goes to the bathroom, which yeah. is too much information. So he does. It's he's just he needs to do it a lot more. But he's doing looking good. Yeah. Anyway, that's what we wanted to show you. Look how cute her markings are. We just assume it's a girl. She takes after her dad. She takes after her dad. With the redness. Hopefully she's not a... People chaser. <laughs> Do that. So, Ellie's in trouble. <laughs> All she does is chase chickens. All right. I, I can't remember who it was, but somebody complained about our our coop the other day. I love this coop. Here, can you open this for me? Just perfect size for the chickens we have. So. Oh, is that young? Our, here's yeah. some more food for you. We have like all the baby stuff inside. The baby grain and or the baby feed inside. So that is for you. Our baby silkies have actually started laying and they've started coming out of the coop. 
We've left it open all summer and they just now got brave enough to come out. Chicken or silkies are a whole different breed of chicken. They're super gentle and super like that silky up there. It's too cold out. She's yeah, up there. there's a silky up there. It's too cold. So she stays in it up there. Oh my gosh, Sophie. So this <laughs> She got a little it looks oh you got wet <laughs> so they like each other and they like being together it makes me feel bad but she steals her baby all right let's wait we're gonna wait until all the chickens hatch and then we're gonna do the switch she's so gonna have two and she's gonna have all of them yeah so we're gonna once the chi the last chickens hatch we're gonna put a divider here, and then we're gonna put all the new babies, we're gonna try and put them in with the Silky, cause she doesn't have any babies. Because that one stole her babies. Yeah, hers is the black one. Yeah, she, she's very particular about it. Let me fix their water. See, look, they, I just was watching them. This little one, she knows that that's her mom. But at night, this one takes the other, takes that baby. See, she's so antsy about it. She's like, come on, get over here with me. And I don't want her to have to do that. Hi, See? She knows. They both know who their mamas are. I literally dropped an egg. It rolled off this thing. And it I I heard it land, but we can't find it anywhere. It's the weirdest thing. It's weird. They're like, what are you looking for? <laughs> what are you looking for, Sophie? Don't you know that?